Mother speaks out for the first time about the St. Louis Circuit Attorney's Office. Her daughter was murdered right before graduating from Parkway West High School. Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes has her exclusive television interview. Janetta Doss declined to talk when the circuit attorney's office first dropped her daughter's case in March. She's now speaking out as she says she's learned how much the prosecutor's office failures have possibly blown the chance of catching her daughter's killer. Janetta Doss finds the strength tonight through her daughter, Cariel. She wears her picture daily. I said that I was going to purchase me a, a machine for these shirts because I wear them every day. Mother's arms display love messages to her daughter, and a picture hangs by the front door of one of their last outings. It sticks in my in my head because it was Valentine's Day and she was my Valentine. Cariel was murdered in April 2020, robbed and shot in the head on a Franklin Avenue sidewalk in North St. Louis near where she lived. Doss says the case was quickly solved with police handing over evidence to the circuit attorney's office in June 2020. She says she found out years later that evidence was not disclosed to the defense. I don't know. <laughs> Look how evil this woman's eyes is. She probably lost that evidence. So how do you not disclose the evidence to the defense? How do you not do that? I'm time. Cariel was murdered in April 2020 robbed and shot in the head on a Franklin Avenue sidewalk in North St. Louis near where she lived. Doss says the case was quickly solved with police handing over evidence to the circuit attorney's office in June 2020. She says she found out years later that evidence was not disclosed to the defense. I don't know if they if it got lost. I don't know if they didn't feel that it was important, but they never turned it over during the time. Fox 2 was the only TV station in the courtroom when the case was dismissed this past March. Wow, it was dismissed. Her daughter got robbed and shot in the head outside of her home. They had evidence. This fucking she boom devil shit stain didn't give the fucking evidence over to the defense and dismissed the case. So the guy who shot this woman's daughter in the fucking head is still on the streets now. The guy who shot this woman in the fucking head and robbed her in front of her home is still on the streets. This is how we turn. We turn everywhere in the fucking Haiti, man. We won't rest until it's fucking Haiti. Later, that evidence was not disclosed to the defense. I don't know if they if it got lost. I don't know if they didn't feel that it was important, but they never turned it over during the time. Fox 2 was the only TV station in the courtroom when the case was dismissed this past March after the circuit attorney's office was called out. It's not a mistake. At this point, this is pure negligence. The defendant's attorney, David Mueller, said this after that hearing. There's only two ways that it can happen. One is gross negligence, and the other is willful denial of my client's constitutional rights. Yeah, I think it was willful denial. That woman, Kim Gardner, that's why when that first white lady came on talking about all these bullshit ass reasons why she ain't got, why she resigned, this woman is the devil. This woman is worse than Kim Fox. She's a she boom devil shit stain. I believe she did that shit on purpose. In this case and in many cases. The defendant's attorney, David Mueller, said this after that hearing. There's only two ways that it can happen. One is gross negligence and the other is willful denial of my client's constitutional rights. Let's go back to court. Let's refile this. Let's get to the bottom of this. Except she says no one from the circuit attorney's office will answer her. The defendant, Levi Henning, faces robbery charges in a separate incident, but Doss questions how that case is going. Doss says only one prosecutor in the office ever communicated with her, an attorney who took over after the mishandling of evidence, but has since resigned. Now she says no one picks up or returns her calls. The only thing we can do at this point is hope. I can't go down there and make them do it. We all know that the district attorney office has absolute immune immunity. 
what can I do? So she holds on to memories like her daughter's voice. For me to have the strength, I have to press this bear to hear her voice, just to hear her say that she loves me. Mama, you know, girl, I love you. The circuit attorney's office won't answer us either. Defendant Levi Henning has a court date May 18th for his robbery case, which we'll attend to see how that- Another robbery case. He's going to court for another robbery, not killing this woman, but another robbery case. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. Henning has a court date May 18th for his robbery case, which we'll attend to see how that case is proceeding. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.